Oops. Relate in the attack, just a program content. So we have this, this is our document, really document, so this is a page still from the document. In the attack, relation with the ball, that's the priority. The dribbling, <coughs> feints and fakes, feints and fakes, blended with other actions, protecting the ball in different orientations. So this is the priorities, but then we create situations for these things to happen. If they don't happen, I don't say you have to do it. I'm just creating situations for it to happen, okay? Another example from the same thing, so this, that was technical behaviors, this is tactical behaviors on the way we play. So, for example, linking the goalkeeper to defense, main priority to open the field, which means where they should be uh, starting, creating passing options, so where should you be, defending definition of starting zones priority, so we also tell them this is the main priority. So, if, you, if possible, play the ball to the center back. If, if this is not possible, play there. If this is not, but it's always like, you decide according to what you see. And okay. I'm myself here, but I will try to, uh, you don't see the point, I uh, see the point there. Okay, so here, in orange, you have the, the way we play definition, so the first row would be our offensive uh, priorities, in the, in the second row, defensive priorities. Here is the game principle, so basically, we pick up main subjects, for example, here, <coughs> Uh, December, for example, short pass and anticipation and uh, stealing the ball. Okay, so basically, we will continue doing the same thing, but we try to make exercises where where these situations come more often. I'm not saying you only do short passes, but you focus a little bit more on short passing, but in the game situations. So you try to create problems in the game that will make them use short passes more often. Okay. But we, we call it activation because we don't do the typical warm-up. They just go there and play with some content. But obviously, we are aware that they need to warm up their bodies. We are aware that they shouldn't shoot the ball. We are aware that they shouldn't be sprinting. But I'm aware that I don't need to rotate my arms because I'm not going to be the next... Uh, I forgot his name, but... So, Michael, Michael Phelps. So, I don't care about that. So, activation period, individual development, which means the first block of the training session, it's for everybody, it's focusing a game problem, but it's basically to develop the player in all the dimensions of the game, in situations like 1v1 to 3v3 or 4v4, and then development of tactical behaviors. So on the way we play, for example, we pressure a lot. But pressure is not something that you, oh, next week I need to do good pressure on my opponent to, develop, to win the game. So this week I will just do pressure. It won't happen. Pressure, it's a behavior. It's an attitude that the players have. I lose the ball, I pressure. I do this, and, I, and this has to come up in every exercise. So we, if this is something that we believe it's important for the way we play, it will be here. Lose the ball, search, go fight for, for it, and so on. Group play development. This is where we play the tactics always through games. Small-sided games up to more complex situations. And in the end, a game that can be a conditioned game where we evaluate the success of what we did. Okay?